Welcome to the third video in my resume development workshop series. For this video, we will focus on building the work experience and skills sections of your resume. First, let's go over what we know about research on what impresses hiring managers when they read your work experience section. Researchers have found that resumes tailored to match job descriptions are more likely to be shortlisted and to impress hiring managers. Several researchers have found that including specific measurable achievements in your resume significantly enhances your perceived confidence, which in turn increases the likelihood of gaining the attention of hiring managers to secure an interview. In fact, including quantifiable achievements can increase the likelihood of securing an interview by up to 30%. Let's look at some other research. A survey by CareerBuilder found that 62% of hiring managers look for quantifiable achievements when evaluating resumes. Ladders Incorporated used eye tracking technology to analyze recruiter behavior. We looked at this a bit in the second video. The study found that resumes with quantifiable metrics were more likely to be read thoroughly and remembered by recruiters, including specific numbers and results helped candidates stand out. LinkedIn's research found that profiles and resumes with quantifiable metrics received 40% more views from recruiters. So now that we understand the importance of your work experience section and including those quantifiable metrics to stand out to recruiters, let's shift to what this looks like. Each entry in your work experience section should include your job title, the company name, a brief description of the company's impact, scope, industry, the location, dates of employment, including the month and year, and measurable accomplishments. Your work experience is going to have your most recent position listed at the top, and you're going to work backward, with your last entry being the oldest at the bottom. Let's read through these three candidate work experience descriptions to gain a better understanding of what will help you stand out. So candidate one, I am an accomplished researcher and a strong team leader. Candidate two, I have led a team of 15 researchers to complete over 10 research projects. Candidate three, I have led a team of 15 researchers to complete over 10 research projects, resulting in five publications and two awards for outstanding scientific contributions. Candidate three didn't just tell you they were an accomplished researcher and a strong team leader, they showed you. They provided the data and the evidence to quantify their experience and accomplishments. This will make them stand out to a hiring manager. Let's look at some examples from past students who have very generously agreed to let us look at their resumes. What I love about Claudia's work experience is how she described Cruise Dairy Farm for hiring managers who may not be familiar with them. Cruise Farm is a local dairy farm that has been selling their dairy in the Knoxville area since the 1980s. Their motto is work hard, love harder. And as an employee at one of their ice cream shops, it's my job to uphold this by ensuring quality food and service and serving our customers with a smile. In this example, Kyra did an excellent job including quantifiable metrics throughout this entry. This is not simply a list of her responsibilities. She's giving hiring managers a clear description of the scope and impact of her work. She worked with 100 customers a day, handled between 600 to 1,500 in sales, fulfilled 200 plus orders a day, and was trained on three different positions. What I love about Bethany's work section is the inclusion of hard-hitting impact statistics. For example, she increased readership and average amount of stories published by 50% as editor-in-chief of Rising Rock. As a contract photographer, she contributed to company sales of between 75 to 98,000. Let's say your work experience is limited. You can include volunteer work instead. You'll describe your volunteer work in the same way that you talk about work experience in that you're going to include information and quantifiable metrics about the impact and scope of your work. So let's talk about how you can use ChatGPT 3.5 to help you create your work experience section. So remember, you need to provide detailed information to get good output when working with ChatGPT. To do this, write down your past job titles, companies, dates of employment, skills used, quantify the scope and impact of your work, and list any achievements. ChatGPT can help you craft bullet points. For example, you might type, I worked as a marketing intern at such and such company. Can you help me create bullet points for this role? ChatGPT will then generate a list of suggested bullet points based on the information you provide. However, as we've talked about before, the output is going to be very general. A better prompt will include a list of quantifiable metrics and accomplishments that you have written. 
One of the major limitations of ChatGPT is it can't provide you with quantifiable metrics that you can put on your resume. It doesn't know the scope and impact of your work. It has no idea how many people you've trained, how many children you were responsible for, or how many tables were in the restaurant that you worked at. If you ask it to provide metrics, it will make them up. So don't do that. It's very obvious to me. It's very obvious to hiring managers when resumes are making outrageous claims that they don't make sense for your experience. Here's another good use of ChatGPT. You can ask for help tailoring your resume based on specific job description. So here in this prompt, you can see I'm applying for a job, insert the job title position, insert the company name. Here's the job description. You're gonna copy and paste that there. Based on this job description, can you help me tailor my resume by generating bullet points for my work experience section? So here is some of the information about my previous job. You're going to give your previous job title, the company name, and you're going to provide it with a list of your responsibilities and achievements, those quantifiable metrics. And then please include relevant keywords and highlight my achievements to align with the job description. So let's look at this. Look at that in action. So what I've done is I've taken that prompt and I have inputted it in with all of the information. So you can, I did it in Word just to be thorough. So here's the full job description. I am applying for a salesperson position at Kay's Jewelers. So I have copied and pasted the job description from the Indeed job ad here. And then we have based on this job description, can you help me tailor my resume? Um, job title, cashier line cook, previously at Buffalo Wild Wings. And then here are some achievements, employee of the quarter, two times, trained two employees, um, trained to work two positions, accurately manage sales between 1,500 to 3,000 each shift. And in, I'm asking ChatGPT to include those relevant keywords to align with the job description. So remember these quantifiable metrics, ChatGPT can't give them to you. It doesn't know what you've accomplished. It doesn't know what that looked like. So you have to input that information into it if you want it to do a good job. So let's go back to ChatGPT. I've pasted everything in and now I'm going to ask it and see what it comes up with in terms of coming up with those bullet points. So here we go, cashier, line cook, Buffalo Wild Wings, recognized as employee of the quarter twice for exceptional customer service and performance, successfully trained two new employees, ensuring they met company standards and contributing to team growth, demonstrated versatility by mastering two positions, showcasing adaptability and willingness to take on additional responsibilities, effectively managed sales transactions ranging from 1,500 to 3,000 per shift, demonstrating strong attention to detail and accuracy and financial handling. So this would be an excellent, like excellent bullet points for this job. So, and what I really like about what ChatGPT does is it, it is putting in some of those keywords from the job ad. It's taking those quantifiable metrics that kind of set you apart that ChatGPT can't do, but it's using really excellent language to highlight those. And you can see here, it's gonna give you key skills and attributes. It's giving you additional things. These are not, um, things that you're going to put in there because again, you, you don't want to tell them what you did. You want to show them what you did. So rather than saying strong leadership skills demonstrated through training and mentoring of colleagues, this successfully trained two new employees, ensuring they met company standards and contributing to team growth. That's that shows them with evidence that you have trained these two employees rather than just saying that you did it. So these are much stronger than these telling people that you've done stuff rather than up here showing them that you have done stuff. Look at that in action. So let's transition to talking about your skills section. Should your resume have a skills section? The answer is it depends on who you ask. Ideally, your skills are integrated into your work experience bullet points. However, as a student or new grad, you might have trainings or certifications and things that you haven't yet used in the workplace. Use your skills section to highlight hard skills, technical skills, licenses, certifications, trainings. Don't use it to list soft skills like leader, good communicator. Those things should be demonstrated with quantifiable metrics in your work experience section. So here's an example of a well-organized um, skills section. So you can see here, we've got the skills, they're just listed. There's no descriptions about them. You don't want to include any of that. 
Grouping skills by category, simple lists to save space, the skills are relevant and reflect the job description, and the qualifications show technical skills. So this is a great way to list that information. So here's a sample G chat GPT prompt you could use based on this job description. What are the key skills and qualifications that are most important for this role? P paste in that job description, and it'll provide you with the most relevant skills required for the job. So make sure you incorporate those skills into your resume, ideally in your work experience section. You may think that something like this looks eye-catching, but once the novelty wears off, it'll really come across as trying too hard at best and unprofessional at worst. Additionally, this is not only hard to read by recruiters, but also by applicant tracking systems and um, resume screeners. So to stay competitive in the job market, you have to continuously build your skills through training certifications, continuing education courses. So a study published in the Journal of Career Development um, found that ongoing skill development is linked to higher employability and career advancement. So you want to continue to invest in your professional growth, not only for your resume to help you, but to also help you stay current in your field. So finally, here are some prompts you can use to ask ChatGPT to help you proofread your resume before you send it off. So you can ask it to review for grammatical and spelling errors, ask it if it has suggestions for improvement, and much more. So make sure that you take advantage of those additional um, opportunities for feedback and improvement that ChatGPT can offer. So we are now at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment with your questions and any other tips that I may have missed.